Today we're going to make this Highland Cow Macrame and I'm going to show you how. First you're going to want to cut the wood pieces with your Glowforge and I can link you to the file that I purchased to um, make this. Um, it was only a couple of dollars. This is not my file but someone else does have it and you can use it for commercial purposes. And then you can paint your horns and your snout whatever color you want. Um, I've done gray, black, um, I've even stained the wood before, but the gray seems to be the most popular with uh, unfinished raw Baltic birch. This is the type of macrame that I use and I can link you to what I use in the comments down below. Um, and then I kind of measure out how long it's going to be to reach the snout and you do want it longer since it does cover the eyes and go because that's how a highland cow fur is then you're going to want to cut them to size cut a bunch of pieces um you need about eight pieces per cow i've been kind of experimenting with this but i've noticed that it's best if i kind of Pull this apart in half so there's two pieces of small macrame with each um, each one I thread through. And then just go ahead and thread it through the top hole. And I have not found an easy way to do this yet, but I'm thinking if I get some sort of needle, it'll be easier to get through the thinner slots. And you can just kind of keep going and keep threading the macrame through until it's done. And then I put on a really long string and you can hang it from your rear view mirror or use it um, however you would like. And then I trim the hair just so it's not totally covering the, covering the snout. You want to make sure that he can breathe through his snout. <laughs> but it does want to cover his non-existent eyes. There you go. You have a handmade macrame Highland cow.